Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Page Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at this Lego Movie 2 set, Wild Mayhem Starfighter. So this set contains 405 pieces and retail 90 New Zealand dollars. First we're going to take a look at the spaceship itself. So this Wild Mayhem Starfighter may not be the most memorable spaceship from the uh, Lego Movie 2 because it's only made a brief appearance at the end of the movie. At first glance, it may not be the most conventional looking spaceship, but the actual product actually looked very nice. First, I really like the uh, color scheme and the couple of designs that I like uh, very much. For example, how they use these two curved pieces to create this design here. And I really like how the cockpit is designed and I think it's very smart to use the transparent piece to represent the uh, dashboard monitors. The only part I didn't enjoy that much are these uh, big stickers here and uh, around the side of the spaceship because it's quite large and especially this one is a bit curved if you align it incorrectly then the whole thing looks terrible. There are a couple of action features integrated into the spaceship itself for example at the front there's a disc shooter and you just have to press behind to shoot the disc out. And you do get two of these nicely printed pieces to add as the ammo for the disc shooter. And the other feature is to do with the three stars over here. And first we're going to take a look at the uh, stars. I think it's great that they include three different facial expression of the stars and they all look very nice. So in order to use that feature here, first you need to put the stars inside uh, each of the area. You can see it's specifically designed to fit three of this. So the trigger for the disc shooter over here can actually be pulled back. And you can see all three stars just drop like this. And this set also comes with four characters from the movie. On the left, you've got Lucy, and then you've got Sweet Mayhem, and then you've got Emmett, and on the right, you've got Rex Danger Best. So for Lucy, it's actually uh, a few versions that actually come with the uh, hoodie piece, and she does have an alternate face expression, which is an angry face. For Sweet Mayhem, she doesn't come with uh, any helmet, and she has this uh, much more uh, cheerful look compared to uh, some of the earlier sets. And here I am at and Rex Dangerous. So these two minifigures are actually exclusive to this set. And this is one of the main reasons that I bought this set because I'm a fan of a different version of the Rex Dangerous minifigure. And both minifigures do come with an alternate facial expression. So for Emma, it's a uh, smile. And for Rex Dangerous, it's uh, this very unique facial expression. So for Rex Dangerous, uh, they do give you this uh, attachment here to attach at the back of his uh, torso to uh, create the uh, illusion of him uh, flying in space. And you do also get a uh, stud shooter for uh, Rex. For Emmett, you do get an extra hairpiece, which is the same uh, hairstyle as Rex Dangerous, but in a different color. And this is how Emmett looks like with a different hairpiece. Overall, I think this is an interesting set, a nice surprise. Originally, I was just uh, after uh, the minifigures, but after I built this set, I do think it looks better than it's in the photo. And there's some uh, very interesting build techniques inside which you do feel um, that designers put a lot of effort to make this set interesting. And I really like how they designed this uh, bomber feature over here. But the highlight for me is still um, the minifigures in this set just because uh, of my personal preference. I do recommend this set if you're a fan of the characters and you want to collect uh, all the different versions of uh, the individual characters or just purely looking for something different uh, to build compared to uh, other spaceships that you might get in other themes.
And yes, I do agree that the price is a bit high and the set could be maybe $10 cheaper. Uh, but if you're in Australia and you send this set is only available from uh, lego.com and there's no plan for this to be a wide release uh, across the retail store. So if you really want to have this set, I will suggest that you act quick. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments section below. If you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.